Actually, that's another thing leading on from that, that people get caught up on. And it's like holds them back from starting their businesses. Like I don't have a portfolio. I don't have a website. And I honestly believe that you don't need one. Um, so first of all, let's start with the website. It, Belvista Studios, minimal people go to our website um, in a month. So for the longest time, our website was literally the website that I created when I was full-time employed. And it was there. I built it myself. It dated over time. Like, it, so that was probably five years ago. It dated in the last year or two. I was like, it doesn't look great. But I was like, well, no one's going to see it. So who cares? So I didn't because I knew that it would take time to update it. What did I want it to say? All these kinds of things. And then what I did was recently, I was just like, okay, I'll update it. Um, but I'm not going to put much effort into it. So I literally bought a template for 20 bucks on templatemonster.com. I know how to code it to change it, but you, based on the code, I wanted to use um, Dreamweaver CSS to code it because that's what I'm familiar with. But you can pick Wix or um, what are the other ones? WordPress, all those random things that you can build. You can do a Google site for your website if you really want to go there. But I literally just was like, pick a template that's already got the colors that I need. What does it need to say? It says two sentences. And then it says, contact us by this phone number or this email. That is our website, you know? So don't think it's this big hurdle. And I almost changed it, I think, subconsciously to help people understand because when people go to our website, I didn't want them to see, oh, I need an about me and I need our services and all this kind of stuff. I just like, I wanted to demonstrate that people will make a buying decision in other ways. And that one page website is enough. And we are getting work through that one page website that says nothing. Because what I believe is you don't need a website because your LinkedIn is your website. Your Facebook is your website. If you use it for business purposes, your Instagram or your Twitter is your website. Um, so I would put more effort into that because then people already have this sense. So what we do at Bell Vista Studios is we put a lot of effort into adding value to the industry through our posts and our videos and all that kind of stuff. So when people want to contact, like people should, I want people that are ready already to buy from Bell Vista Studios. I don't want people that are fishing around for a price and um, that are curious that I don't know what they're looking for because that you hear this in business, you want, you want to find the customers that you want to work with. So our way of doing that is putting out our message, our values, our beliefs on how we approach our process, our projects, how we solve problems. Therefore, we will attract clients to us that are equally resonating with that stuff and they are ready to buy. So therefore they just go, okay, yeah, I'm on Belvis Studios website and here's the phone number. That's if they even get there because they can contact us directly from Instagram. They can contact us directly from uh, LinkedIn as well. So don't put so much effort into it. I've just given you a, like basically, what do you call it? Like a blueprint. And that is the same approach I'd say for your portfolio, because a lot of people say, I'm not going to launch until I have a portfolio. The amount of times that we get asked for a portfolio is very, very, very minimal. Um, like less than 10%. When we had no work to show, we still got work. And everyone gets work and has, everyone starts with nothing, but you have experience because you're not coming into the industry um, and having never worked on a project before. You know, you've done something that is a transferable skill and you just need to be able to talk to that and demonstrate that. And I think that's really important to know because we all start with nothing. Everyone has started with nothing, but we've all got our first job and our second job and our third job. And over time you'll get a portfolio, but if you're doing the right activities on social media by demonstrating your philosophy and your process, your, or that's your portfolio as well. So it's a mindset shift on what is a portfolio, what is a website and thinking about that differently.